I would say there are probably as many terms that we use to speak about the issue than there are numbers describing the number of people who would be displaced. And yes, it, it's a mess. We can see really a lot of different terms, climate migrants, climate displaces, climate induced displacement, people on the move because of climate change, climate induced mobility, we shouldn't consider that all people migrating or moving because of climate change form one single category, but actually we're discussing about very different patterns of migration. If you think, for example, uh, about the British people who buy houses in the south of France because they are sick of the weather in Britain, uh, they're fed up with the fog and the rain and they want some sun, they are also relocating permanently because of climatic conditions. But you, would you call them climate refugees? No, that would be shocking to call them climate refugees and to put them in the same group, in the same category as people in Bangladesh who are fleeing for their life because of a cyclone or because of a flood. And yet these two groups of people both move for climate related reasons. Climate refugees is probably the most common label that's given to people who move because of climate change. But in academic circles, it's fairly taboo. And one of the reasons that it's taboo is because of multi-causality. So when you label someone a, a climate refugee, or even if you say a climate migrant, there's something implied there that that migrant, again, only became a migrant because of climate change. On a technical level, there is no legal category of climate refugee. So when we talk about refugees, refugees have a legal status based in the 1951 Geneva Convention. Climate's not a part of that convention. Climate isn't one of the legal causes of, of refugee status. So you don't have that technical right to be called a refugee if you're moving because of climate change. Of course, there are victims of climate change and we don't want to, to minimize that, but there are also people who are making active decisions about what happens to their lives and where they will live and where they will go that refugee labeling doesn't necessarily allow for. I think the term climate refugees is very important because it identifies that people on the move as a result of climate change are doing so because of political situations that are taking place. Saying that they're climate refugees really puts the onus on states who are not taking action on climate change to say that they have a responsibility to not only take action on climate change, but take action and protect those who are being displaced and forced to move. Other labels that are being used, such as climate change induced displacement or climate migrants, really contribute to depoliticizing what's happening and also just neutralizing the people on the move and not giving them any way to express the rights and protection that they are owed. If you're a migrant, you know, there's a lot of choice. You're choosing to move. But if you're a refugee, you're being forced to move. And I think that distinction is really important, which is why I support the term climate refugees. Mm -hmm.